Many of my video ideas come from working with different clients and seeing the challenges they face in their business. In this video, I want to talk about how to calculate service level in your contact center, which is probably the most important measure of success from a customer's perspective. First off, let's define what service level is. In our case, the service level objective is 80% of our calls are answered within 20 seconds. When I asked my client's team what their service level was for the week, I received the following. I asked them how did they calculate it, and they provided me with this formula. Mathematically, the number is correct, but it's also very wrong, and here's why. For any contact center that operates seven days a week, there is inevitably higher call volume in particular days. As you can see here, the center took over 20,000 calls in a week, with a good measure of that volume happening on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The first three days of the week represented over 12,000 calls, or 60% of the week's volume. And in each of those days, you notice the service level was significantly below our goal of 80 and 20, and what the team's calculated weekly average of 78.0%. I find that if you visualize the call volume in the form of a bar chart, you can see the dramatic changes in the volume day over day. You can make that chart even more compelling if you overlay the daily service level as we have done here. The green represents the calls that were answered within the service level objective. The yellow represents all the other calls answered outside of that. You can see the impact the high volume had on the service level at the beginning of the week. In this chart, we use the service level average the team calculated earlier. Yes, it's unfair to have each day at 78% service level. I do that to compare the amount of yellow in the actual service level chart to the weekly average service level chart. As I flip back and forth between the two charts, I think you would agree that the actual service level chart has more yellow in it than our weekly average service level chart. So without knowing any math, you can pretty much assure yourself that the average might be a little bit high. Let's do the math and find out what the weighted average service level was for the week. Weighted average means in the data we're going to use, some days carry more importance than others. This is how you calculate your weighted average service level. First, we calculate the weighted volume for any one particular day. This is simply the total of the day's call volume divided by the total volume for the week and expressed as a percentage. Then you take that number and multiply it by the service level for that day. The result is a weighted daily service level. Monday's weighted service level was 11.1%, Tuesday was 13.1%, and so on. All of the weighted service levels are then added together to give you the total weighted average service level for the week. When we add up all of those numbers, we get 71.8%. The team's original calculation of 78.0%, that was 6.2% higher. So in essence, they were going to report a service level that was actually better than it really was. It is very important to report accurate numbers. There could be significant impacts on business agreements, contracts, investments, and bonuses should these numbers be calculated incorrectly. In our example, the service level decrease but I'm happy to report that I've seen many examples where the service level was better than what was reported. Thank you for watching. If you'd like the PDF of this presentation that includes additional bonus slides that show each step of the calculation, then please email me. You can find other useful call center management information on our YouTube channel or at our website.